Angry lady. Angry lady. Doesn't seem to be a horde. I think it was only the little individual zombie here. Oh, nice. Ooh, thank you. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die. We'll play Seven Days to Die modded using Valmod. Today, we're going to finish our little tower. We already have it finished. We're going to put some more defenses around, but we're also going to go on a grind. I see if I can make some uh, time lapses or something to make it a little bit more interesting because the grind has to be done and Valmod is a little bit more grindy than vanilla because a lot of things are locked behind progression and all that. But we're going to have some fun. We're also going to have a look at game stages really quickly to see if we can increase them to actually make the game a little bit more difficult and more interesting during Horde Night, which is coming up in a couple of hours in this game, like on, in 24 hours game time. Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the ball to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. All right, let's get a little bit nerdy for a second and have a look at the um, XML file. All right, so here we are. At the XML file, and in this XML file, if you actually look at all the way on the top, the way I understand it is that there is a Blood Moon spawner entry, and in this entry is a game stage. And in this game stage, you have several settings which determine how strong the horde is going to be. However, there's always going to be a line in here saying Zombie Spawn Night, um, Group Zombie Spawn Night, and the number whatever you want it to be, which is basically the maximum number of zombies that you're going to fight that night, and then the maximum of life at any one time. So making that 68 is recommended, because after that you get performance issues, but we're going to set it to 16 and see what happens. The duration is basically, it says here, the duration of the stage is one game in game hour. After that game hour, the next spawn will start, or the spawning will complete, which means if we happen to kill all these eight zombies within the first hour, uh, saying 40 minutes game time, then it will take 20 minutes game time before the next one comes. So what we want is this duration, we want to be as short as possible, obviously. Like we always want to leave that one or two or three, whatever the uh, the default setting is, yeah? Now the interval is something we don't really care too much about. That is just the delay in seconds between the end of a spawn group and the next one, and so on and so on. So now the zombie night, as far as I understand, this is what we want to set to max value. So I went down into the Blood Moon Horde entry, and I went through, there's a loads of other spawn groups, which I'm gonna leave alone, I'm not really gonna worry about them, because there is always the Zombie Knight spawn, and I'm not gonna go through that XML file, and even with regular expression pattern matching, if that means nothing to some of you guys, don't worry about it, it's very hard to replace all these values exactly, yeah? So what I did is, I went through all the Zombie Knights, set them to number 300 max, and maximum life 16. By default, at the lower game stages, all these numbers are set very little, they're very low, now the duration, is set to one. I'm not going to worry about it because this is at game stage one. We should get this all spawned, which means we're going to get a group of the feral horde stage GS1, whatever that means. I don't care if that's, if that's set to max alive two or whatever, but we also should get a zombie night spawn. And that's the one I'm interested in. That's the one I want to crank up just to test if we already can get a more intense horde night. What I want out of this is to have whatever default zombies the game stage decides, if it's a feral with horde, with dogs, I don't care. I just want it to last until four o'clock in the morning until I, uh, they stop running again. That's the aim of this. I hope that wasn't too nerdy, and I'm not sure I got this 100% right, but guys, let me know in the comments below as well what you think. Now, I've set all these zombie nights to 316, except for the higher game stages, because they were all set, already set to that number and higher. So you can see here, for example, number 555, max alive 16, that was already there. So I only upgraded the ones that were below 300 to 300, and max alive 16, where it was max alive less than 16. Now, I believe that this is gonna hold for the first horde night even if we get non-stop zombies okay but what i want to work on now is basically i want to obviously dig out another one because i haven't i have a lot more metal coming out from under uh from my um forge genie mac i actually i'm i'm, I'm spitting out a lot more iron uh, from my forge and i'm gonna queue up a lot more spike traps underneath and we still have 28 in our inventory so i'm gonna do one more row here and after this row we're gonna literally start digging around and see if we can finish um the layout of the base and do that we also want to look at making yucca because you guys are saying that actually i can level up my cooking with yucca so what i did for the moment was i basically cooked some meat or whatever and just waited in the campfire that's all i did and that leveled up my cooking all right but it's very very slow and i was trying to be clever and i thought when you basically make pulp which is also made in the in the campfire or um tallow uh, that doesn't actually level up your cooking it's uh, going into different uh, skill areas which is uh Shidam, I thought I can cheat it that way because I could have queued up a lot of pulp. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at that as well. Okay, screw the time lapses because that's gonna get too awkward for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used to do them before in the past, but hey ho, it's not gonna work. Um, I just uh, got a little bit of problems like there with the exact timing and all that. And I don't want to end up with an episode that's like 10 minutes long because I couldn't measure the timing. Anyway, I didn't want to do that ad hoc. I might have to actually look into that a little bit more. I know I did it before, but it's slightly different. I didn't want to have the face come in and I don't know. I just, uh, anyway, it's a, it's a lot of hassle right now this very minute. So I couldn't get this to work. However, look at that. I actually queued up some yucca juice here and it takes 12 seconds, but look at the experience we get. That is amazing. You guys are so awesome. So we are actually going to collect a lot of yucca because look at this. This is popping in now. Boom. Look at that. That is awesome. And we get yucca very readily actually like here from cactus, like so, which is two for the big ones or up to three actually from the very tall ones. There's no more here. So we're going to have to look around here. We're going to go up there where there should be more and uh, see if we can collect more yucca. But it would be great if we actually have a proper desert biome, which I don't think we have at this point. No, we don't. So we're just going to have to scavenge through here and get more yucca. That is awesome. Another thing you guys were mentioning is blueberry jam because you take the blueberry and you actually make the jam in your inventory as well. And that's considered cooking. So let me actually see what we need for that. Let me see. Oh, three mechanical parts. You are awesome. Okay, so a bowl of fruit obviously is cooking, but we can't make that. We don't have any grapes growing yet. Got any grapes. So blueberry, if we look at blueberry jam, for example, that's 12 blueberries and one glass jar. Now, obviously that's a lot of blueberries, but if we get a shitload of experience, then it would be absolutely worth it. So we're gonna go around and do a little bit more farming on the cactus for the yucca plants, which is amazing. This one should give us two and it takes four pair jars. So if I do a little round and can queue up maybe 10 jars, that would be absolutely awesome I don't even know if there is so many of them around here but there should be a lot of little cactus pieces like flying around in this area okay I think we have 40 now that is awesome so yeah I'm gonna uh, I can't drink that so we're gonna make these eight glasses and that should at least level us up I would be surprised if it levels up as up less than two so it should level us up twice and hopefully at five we unlock a new recipe because that would help a lot i mean as soon as we can make golden rod we actually absolutely golden <laughs> because i don't mind waiting in the uh, campfire for, for golden rod to craft i mean you just go watch a little bit of netflix let this craft during the night you know and level up your cooking so it's not the end of the world because only oh look at that there we got more so some more corn that is awesome okay look at this here nice we get some wood as well now we should hopefully level up now very soon with um, the cooking and see if level five unlocks more recipes. There we go, we got one. And oh, it's so close, baby. I wonder if it carries over. Oh, look at that, that was awesome. I wonder if it carries over as in, if we make one. Oh, it did carry over and we unlocked five and we unlocked scrambled eggs. Nice, baked potatoes, yes. I have like over a hundred potatoes. That should be so awesome. We can so level up cooking now really badass because that should be giving us a lot of uh, cooking points that, um, whatchamacallit, uh, baked potatoes. Oh my god, I keep running into the stupid things. Now, we actually eat a couple as well, so we get a little bit of stamina back. There we go. This is awesome. And then the rest we're going to make yoga seeds out of. That is so cool. Look at that. Beautiful. I know they're not fully grown yet, but we need the wood. And, you know, this is, this is going to take less time than doing all the wood up there in the forest because we're already here. So there's absolutely no point in going up to the forest. And our stamina is doing okay. It's not too bad. It would be good if we level up our uh, toolsmithing a little bit more and our miner 69 or our mining in general. Mining tools, there we go. Block damage is gonna be a little bit higher and stamina degradation, oh man, 25 points. We need to have mining tools at 80. Oh man, and toolsmithing, I don't think will make a difference actually in that. Crafting time, amount, quality, no, sadly not. Okay, we only have nine points, but hey ho, so be it. We can always drink or eat more yucca. That's not gonna be a problem. Now, uh, we have a lot of, um, we have some blueberries down here and we have some coffee down there. Hopefully we're gonna be able, we already uh, unlocked another uh, five by five field, which is goldenrod, chrysanthemum, corn, potatoes. And now here we have a mix of blueberries and I don't know what the rest is. I think they're all blueberries and some yucca. So hopefully we will be able to do another five by five field just for yucca. And then after the next harvest, we're gonna do the five by five purely for blueberry as well, which means we have 50 blueberries coming in every time, which means a full reseed plus two, uh, two blueberry jams. 
which should level up our cooking as well, which is gonna be nice. And then maybe we're gonna do another five by five blueberry field because that would be awesome to have like literally uh, four blueberry jams per harvest and then be able to reseed as well. I'm also queuing up some spikes because they take forever to craft, but luckily I can craft them in my inventory, which should help a lot to get ready for the Horde Knight. So what I want to do is another row of metal spikes around, and then, because we have 28 left, and I'm crafting a few more underneath in my base, and, um, oh, actually we want to replant as well, and we want to uh, make some spikes. So that's why I want to have all these trees chopped down, because that should give us enough wood. Okay, let's plant them again, because we're out of stamina. There we go. One, two, three, bam. And make sure we're gonna till it first. The tilling for trees, there is no difference as well, last time I tested it. From a tree, you get a certain amount of wood. I don't know the exact number now again yet, but I, th I think on a full grown tree uh, at full level, because obviously between alpha 15 and 16, the uh, skill differences are now huge between the different levels of skill. So what we used to get, like say something like 700 wood out of a full grown tree, but when it's tilled, you get 750. But when it's tilled with fertilizer, it was still only 750. So I would recommend, um, until I can test it fully at max level, if there's still a difference, to always have um, your ground tilled you put the tree on. So you basically can ensure a uh, max level of wood or max uh, return of wood. There we go, excellent stuff. Now let's see what we have here. This will also level up our uh, traps which is now at 11, which is really, really good. And we need that high level so we can unlock actually the plate traps. I think this is all under traps as well. So if we look at traps, ah, your balls, come on you. If we look at traps, um, every 10 levels unlocks a new tier. I don't know how much of this is actually behind electric traps, uh, electric traps, because I know that we have electricity basics. This works to unlock recipes for electrical devices. Oh, interesting. And then we have the battery bank, which we need to find a recipe for, but there was another thing, an energy. Ah, there we go, a generator bank. That's what we can unlock. It's science level two. So let's see if we can actually get some science levels in. Three, three, excellent, science level two. And now we can have the Jenny at five points. Oh, I'm two points short, which is a pity, but switches and triggers, we can unlock that as well. That is awesome. So we actually can get a generator much earlier in the game. When I was playing, oh, new recipe unlocked, meat, blueberry meat, that is awesome. How did that unlock? Apple cider, how did that unlock? What did we do? Oh, we finished our yucca juice that was still crafting. No. How did we unlock that? That is weird. Well, how come that only triggered now in my screen? What did? That is weird. Was it purely from chopping trees? What? What triggered that? That is so weird. I have no idea. Maybe signs? Okay. That could have been a thing. I'm really confused, guys. If you know what just happened, let me know in the comments below. Because we leveled up to level 5 cooking a while ago. And it only unlocked um, the scrambled eggs. But now all of a sudden, we have um, whatever that was. Blueberry pie. Whatever that was. What was that? Or meat. That's what we unlocked. Okay, science. Yes, that makes sense. That's under science. Sorry, I didn't read it right. I was like, what? Blueberry stew? I was like, what? Or blueberry pie? So we need wheat for that. And jar of honey and bottled water. Okay, fair enough. We're going to have to have a look at that. I also have a couple of uh, seed packets still, which are not seed packets where you can choose the, uh, my seed, but the type of uh, seed plants where you just plant it and it could be something random. So we're actually going to have to plant them here as well because we might get lucky and we might get hops or uh, wheat out of one of them. Okay, I'm just going to queue up a couple of more spikes. I think I need another 12 maybe. So let me see. I can make 25, but I think 12 should be enough. So and then in total we have 30. We have 28 and 30. That should be enough. So we're going to have these guys craft here. Um, that could give me trap experience as well. But, ah, okay, traps 12. <laughs> that was good. I don't want to really stay in the screen. What I want to test is how our cooking will level up when we make uh, baked potatoes. Because we have loads of potatoes, guys. Loads. And I mean loads. So let's do this. Baked potatoes, look at that. Okay, let's see. What do we get for one baked potato? They only take 10 seconds each. Okay, so... Oh, we only got a little bit of cooking. So let's see what we have here. We're here at approximately... Well, we can see it. We are, we are about here, okay? So let's see 
what we're gonna get for one more potato because I have a feeling because you can make them so easily that you don't get a lot for it I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case because if it is then oh it actually is not bad so I would say that that was about this much so the all of them might only just be a level and a half that's interesting that's interesting indeed so i'm not sure if it's worth it in the moment we don't need food so i think i might keep it until we unlock something more high tier if you know what i mean so we'll see if we can use it then because it would be good to actually uh, take these guys and you make them used uh, use them with um as something for stew or something you know more um there's more body that is a little bit more of benefit when you eat it to you and oh we have a roaming horde Oh, no, it's not a roaming heart. It's just an individual. That's okay. Oh, there's another individual that makes two. And if there's another one that makes three, so we better get rid of them before they start running because we're going to be spending time outside doing a lot of work. So, um, and the last thing we need is like having these guys start running at us and give us a, giving us a hard time. Come on. We also find, found out in the last episode that the, the bobbing of this only seems to be affecting the actual... A uh, bow, but the target is not actually affected by it. You can see it here It still hits the target right in the face even though it's weaving left and right Which is okay, but that kind of makes the weaving to me redundant and it's like well You know what you might as well get rid of it because if it's just a visual distortion now And it doesn't actually affect your aim Well, it does affect your aim if you focus on it But it doesn't affect your aim if you actually look through it with the um, with the eye then it's kind of pointless because I thought the whole idea of the bobbing was uh, to make it like difficult to shoot as well. So let's see. We have some more yucca seeds that I made out of the yucca plants. I'm going to put them here. And we're also going to put these five random seeds down, which could be anything. Look, that is amazing. Okay, maybe we're lucky and one of them is going to be weeds or hops or whatever. <laughs> And then we gotta put another five of those down. So yucca, we should be able to make a five by five yucca thing very quickly as well as blueberry, which would be really nice. And hopefully one of those guys here will be hops or wheat or something else we don't have yet, which would be fantastic. So let's chop down this guy and then we're going to finish the second row of spikes. And then we're gonna start, until the horde night, we're gonna start working on the rest of the wall. You know, we're gonna get some clay, we're gonna make some covered rocks. And we just keep on pumping out uh, the blocks and keep do keep on going on the wall because we want to get at least the general layout done, which would be really nice. Excellent. There we go. And now they start running. -hoo 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 -hoo. Okay, you guys are not ready yet. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I understand that. No problem. Let's see if we have enough. 28. I don't know if 28 is enough, but like I said, I made another 12 in my base underneath. Balls. Okay, that was such a waste. Oh, man. I could leave it there, but I really don't want to. Like, it, the aesthetics actually bother me so much that I just rather not. And, and the funny thing is that a lot of you actually get very annoyed at the aesthetics of the upside down spikes. Somebody actually gave me a complete realistic reason. And this is not realistic because blah, 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 blah. And it's like. Well, yeah, but I like, personally, I like that it's flat. And I think I should play the game the way I personally prefer the looks of. Because, well, I have to live in this world and I have to play with it. And hopefully entertain people in the process. But I do not play this game solely for other people's purpose. And if you don't like the look, I think you should build your base your way. Post some pictures on the internet and be proud of yourself. You know, and then you have other people ridicule your design. And then you can feel shit about it. Because you don't like when other people talk smack about your designs. <laughs> okay, I went a little bit too far there. Like, okay, no. Criticism is always welcome. Don't get me wrong, okay? So I'm just, I'm just making fun. I'm just making fun. Don't get me wrong at all, please, okay? I'm just making a little bit of fun time. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we don't have any cement yet. So let's get out. We need more clay. We need to make these cobblestone rocks, guys. So we're going to need to go outside, digging up more clay and putting these down. And let's see. I hope these guys are enough. Yeah, just in case. Hello? Hello? Okay, that seems to be good. That seems to be good. Nice. And it was indeed enough. It actually was a little bit too many, but that's okay. So now, these guys. I don't know if we have enough of those. Ooh, ooh. Okay. But they're going to go 
on the outside of this. Just like so. And a few of you actually were saying we should put them on top of these, which I think is a great idea. But the problem is they can actually then get up here. So I don't want to put them higher than necessary right now. Because like I said, zombie climbing on top of the spikes can hit the top here and then climbers potentially can get up on that because all they need is, is one zombie body dead on the spikes and they climb on top of it. And then they can reach the extra um, height, which I don't want them to have. Angry lady! Angry lady! It doesn't seem to be a horde. I think it was only the little individual zombie here. Oh, nice. Ooh, thank you. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty decent of you. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy. God, we got a lot of solo runners here tonight. Hello. How are you, my friend, tonight? May I interest you in an arrow in the face? There we go. Thank you. Oh, I got your shoes. I got your shoes now, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. It's like I'm digging my own grave. Like, when I'm working on these things, it's like I'm digging my own grave. And you have to be careful about your stamina as well. There we go, nice. Because if you get your stamina too low, you're absolutely screwed when zombie time comes. There we go, this is actually working out really well, I like it. We should have enough clay now to start making more cobblestone to get more blocks done. That is really, really awesome. So let's see, what do we need actually? We need the big square blocks. Yeah, and we need actually more spikes. I looked at them, we want to get the spikes around here. And for the first horde night, I want to bring all the woodlock spikes around here. I don't want to put the metal spikes around here because I have to remove them again and smash them up because that is the inside of my base. I don't want that to be affected. But we also need to upgrade these guys here on that side, these top guys. We can't forget those. Because this is what the zombies will be hitting. There's absolutely no excuse. These guys have to be upgraded. Not these guys here on the inside. Only these guys here. Because these guys will be destroyed again. Oh man, I'm so afraid. If I upgraded this, the game stages of the zombies that we get non-stop zombies, I'm so terrified if they're coming from that side. We're going to get so destroyed. But you know what? That's going to be fun to watch and it's going to be way more entertaining than four zombies. And then we have no Horde Knight left because they're like, you reached the maximum level of zombies. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I think on that note, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And remember, if you have ideas um, or anything you want me to try it out, try out for the base, you know, for the base designs, or what you think of the game stages, if, you, if that's the right way, or if you have more experience than that, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. So this is where the next tower will start. So that should, that's actually not bad. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Excellent. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh, you're crawling, nice. You're not even a runner. <laughs> Sucks having no legs, dude. Like, what did you go over? Probably cactus. These cactus are deadly. Actually, just having a cactus farm, I wish we could have cactus, actually. That would be such an awesome defense. Like, just put, like, a hundred cacti around your base and everybody will be legless. <laughs> that would be so awesome.